Hi everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here with Chegg. In this video, we're going to discuss equations of lines and planes. Let's start with an example involving a line. Find the parametric and symmetric equations for the line through the points 2, negative 1, 4, and 4, 2, 7. Solution. So the formula for the parametric equations are x equals x naught plus at y equals y naught plus bt and z equals z naught plus ct where x naught y naught z naught is a point on your plane so this is going to be a point and abc those are the components of a vector that is parallel to your line so to find the equation of a line in space you basically need a point on the line and a parallel vector, which in this case we're calling V. These are the parametric ones. These are parametric. Parametric. The symmetric ones are actually very easy to come up with from this formula. Basically, you solve each of these for T. So if you take the first equation and you subtract X naught and you divide by A, you get X minus X naught over A. Then do the same thing for the second one, you would get y minus y naught over b. And the third one is z minus z naught over c. So to do this problem, we basically just need a point, which we already have. We can use either point, and we need a parallel vector. Let's go ahead and find our parallel vector uh, first. So to find our parallel vector, which I'll call v, I'll use a different color for the vector. Basically, we can just subtract the points. We can do 2 minus 4, subtract the coordinates, and then we can subtract negative 1 minus 2, subtracting the second coordinates, and then we can subtract 4 minus 7, subtracting the third coordinates. Again, so we did 2 minus 4, negative 1 minus 2, and then 4 minus 7. That's going to give us the vector negative 2, negative 3, negative 3. All right, so now we have our A, B, and C. So A is gonna be negative two, B is negative three, and C is negative three. For our X naught, Y naught, and Z naught, let's take our first point. So I'll, I'll label them here. X naught will be the first coordinate of our first point, so two. Y naught is going to be negative one, and then Z naught is four. And I'm labeling them again because it's really easy to mess up here, okay? So just be really careful. So let's write down the parametric ones. It's x equals x naught, which is 2, plus, and then a is negative 2, so it'll actually be minus 2t. And then y is equal to y naught, which is negative 1, plus bt, but b is negative, so it's minus 3t. And then z is equal to z naught, which is 4, and then we have the minus 3t, that's our c. So these would be our parametric ones. And for the symmetric ones, we just have x minus x naught, so x minus 2, over a, which is negative 2, equals y minus y naught, so y plus 1, because it's double negative, over negative 3. And then we have z minus z naught, so z minus 4, over negative 3. And you can leave your answer like this. By the way, just a warning, if you're doing like um, online homework, a lot of online homework systems, these are multiple choice, and the choices are sometimes different from your answers. So sometimes you have to mess with your answer to get it to match you know, the computer's answer. Anyways, that's how you find the equation of a line. Basically, you find your parallel vector, and you just use these formulas and plug in your point. Let's do something uh, with the equation of a plane. Here is our next example. Find the equation of the plane passing through the point 1, 2, 3 with normal vector equal to 2i hat plus j hat minus k hat. Let's go ahead and work through its solution. So the formula for the equation of a plane is the following. It's basically a parentheses x minus x naught plus b parentheses y minus y naught plus C parentheses Z minus Z naught. This is a pretty easy formula to remember, and it's equal to zero. 
And so in all of this, x naught, y naught, and z naught, this is a point on your plane. In this case, it's given. And a, b, c are the components of the vector that is perpendicular to your plane. So n is equal to a, b, c, and this is called the normal vector. So normal vector, basically, it's perpendicular to your plane. So to find the equation of a plane, you just need two things. You need a point on the plane and a vector perpendicular to it. In this problem, we almost have everything. Oh, well, actually, we do have everything, not almost. <laughs> so we're going to let our x naught, y naught, and z naught be 1, 2, and 3. And our normal vector, I'm going to write it in component form. So let's write it in component form. So you write down the number in front of the i hat, so 2. There's a 1 in front of the j hat, so 1. And there's a negative 1 in front of the k hat, so negative 1. And now we just plug all of these numbers into our equation. So our a here, just to be really clear, is 2. Our b is 1. And our c is negative 1, right? Because our normal vector is a, b, c. It's going to be 2 parentheses, right? That's our a. And then x minus x naught, which is 1. And then plus 1 parentheses y minus y naught, which is 2. And then c is negative 1, so minus 1 times z minus z naught, which is 3. Let's clean this up. We are going to get 2x minus 2. And then here we just get y minus 2. Distributing the minus 1 here is going to give us minus z and a plus 3. Usually people clean up their answers. I suppose you could leave it at the previous step, but it's not something people usually do. We have 2x plus y minus z. Negative 2 and negative 2 is negative 4. And then plus 3 is 1. So we have uh, minus 1 equals 0. So we end up with 2x plus y minus z equals, clean up my z there, minus z equals 1. And that's going to be the equation of our plane. So to find the equation of a plane, you just have to find your point and your normal vector and use this formula. Hopefully this video has been helpful and you have learned some math. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out more videos on Chegg. Until next time, good luck and take care.